Bokey's obviously playing his 300th game. He's a bit of a Benjamin Button. Here's Bo, bullocks his way through, no problem at all. My earliest memories of him are just similar to what I'm experiencing now. He's just a consummate professional. He's the hardest trainer and he has a, a drive that, you know, everyone else just aspires to have. He's so focused on what he wants to achieve out of footy and out of being human. And I mean, he's a great teammate and a great bloke to be able to hang around every day. Through the middle, fantastic tackle by Bo. I think I was very fortunate to have been led by Bokey for a few years and that whole time I was just basically taking mental notes and how to be a great leader. So I was very fortunate in that respect. Oh, just his work rate, you know, he doesn't stop all game. He will work over his opponent and just keep running and running and his selfless acts. Now he's out there blocking for me for a lot of the time. And for him to finally get the recognition he deserves in the last few years has been unbelievable. And he does above and beyond what you'd expect from a human being sometimes, you know. So he's a special man, Trav, and, and I love him. Travis Boat, the captain, and he delivers. My earliest memories of Travis Spoke was hating him, actually. I was a St Kilda fan, so I had a genuine hatred for Port Adelaide growing up and hated everything about Port Adelaide, hated Travis Spoke, hated Robbie Gray, all the big dogs. But yeah, since since coming to the club, obviously, that's, that's changed pretty quickly. He's actually my mentor, so I spent a fair bit of time with him on and off the field. He's been absolutely amazing since I came to the club. Oh, what a strike from Travis Boak. Trev Boak. Playing 300 games is, is remarkable and, you know, we made him captain in my, my first year. He was the obvious leader. When you become a senior coach for the first time, your captain is so important to you. So much the right-hand man and, you know, he plays a significant role for you. I couldn't have wished to have a better support person as captain as, as Travis was for me in, in my first few years here at this footy club. Just bloke who just wobbles one forward and it's good enough, he's put it through. I think early days, particularly when he took the captaincy my first year at the club, along with Ken coming on board. I remember when we were still playing at Amy Stadium, some of the big goals he kicked in, in games to get us over the line. The captain through traffic for the first time tonight, Port Adelaide in front. I guess just the, the amount he's got out of his career and out of his body is, is something testament to himself and why he's sort of getting to 300 games. He leaves no stone unturned and his preparation and, and wanting to be the ultimate professional and it's something that myself and I know all of our group looks up to him. Now 32, 33 years old but he's still on top of his game and playing some of the best he's ever been playing so that just shows what kind of character he is. I didn't know him at the time but we played against each other in under 18's footy and I was playing for Oakley Chargers, he was a Geelong Falcons boy and then probably our first memories meeting him at the airport when we were coming across for the, for the first time. And then that's a great goal! I think there's a, a lot of things that, that make him special, you know, on the training track, looking after his body, the work he does away from the club. Obviously, amazingly talented, but the work he's put in to be the best that he can be, I think, is what makes him stand above and go play 300 games. He's very driven and probably makes him, you know, pretty anal. Like, he's a fussy eater. He's a fussy sleeper. He's just a routine man, you know, like, he needs all the T's crossed and the I's dotted. Both get a bit appropriate. 